Bartholomew's song is a short round, short film released in 2006 and written and directed by Lowell Frank and Destin Daniel Cretton, which tells the story of Bartholomew 467 and the path that he takes to break the system that he lives in. The mise-en-scene in this film is very basic, and it also mocks that of George Orwell's 1984 and that Orwell and society and the things present in that kind of story. Uh, the walls and floors of this film are all white, especially throughout the rooms, throughout the hallways, as well as Bartholomew 467's room. And also there's lots of fluorescent lights all over the place which make the white very bright and very noticeable. In the first few scenes, uh, a wide shot is used to show the workers on their march to work. And I noticed that in this shot, uh, there's somewhat of a bar on the far side, on the wall behind them. And when they're going to work, they're walking to the right, and they're walking to the smaller end. So it kind of makes it look like a funnel, and as if they're being funneled into the system and to their job that they have. One time after work, Bartholomew467 finds a music box on his way back that he... Uh, looks at it real quick and then goes back for it actually and he takes her to his room where he plays with it and Frank and Cretton use a series of long shots and close shots, close shots uh, to show Bartholomew's interest in the machine and the next few days of work uh, Bartholomew 467 seems to be skeptical about this world he's living in now as he sometimes when he goes around uh, cutting up defective cubes he listens and hears the announcer in one of the rooms and he kind of stops and listens for a second so he examines the music box more and at the end of the scene he lays back on his bed and which makes the music box looks like it is head which in my opinion makes it makes the claim that he is uh, looking at this new world that he's found of music and uh, such other things other than this job and now he's try, starting to turn his back on the system that he's been living in his whole life. Uh, when one of the cubes that they make is defective, he must take it to a room and cut it in half and throw it away. And this room has a shadow on the counter for the knife and where they have to place this cube. And then this, I believe, also emphasizes the rep repetition of this systematic or well society that the Bartholomews are living in. And the costume, uh, costumes of the Bartholomews are also very important and portraying the messages of this film as they all have white jumpsuits on, very basic haircuts, and a simple three-digit number to identify them from one another. <laughs> Through the film, our main character, Barth467, begins to learn how to sing, or I think he might even be learning how to just talk, because he can barely sing when he's trying to. And we're not sure. So the scene where he stabs the announcer woman in order to take her place I believe reinforces this Orwellian society as he just stabs her one time simply to kill her and then they show a close-up scene. A close-up shot is used of him wiping the knife on his leg just as he would when cutting a defective cube. And so I think this is a way to show the desensitization that these citizens of the dystopian Orwellian society may experience as well. And um, then it is now sort of the PA system Barth Bartholomew 467 defective and we see him be dragged away and is replaced by someone else, and the system begins again, just as it was. The short film accomplishes a lot in eight minutes through its use of mise-en-scene elements. Um, the whites, the lights, the costumes, it's all so basic, and achieves one purpose for this world that they're living in.